Welcome back to the channel, guys. I um, have been working all day on listing and noticed something I wanted to show you guys. I've been um, working on some press release photos from movies from the 80s and 90s. And today we're going to talk about the Google AI description tool. And um, I did probably 20 but then I started documenting what I started seeing and I want to show you what I discovered here um, I started what I did was I took the title that they gave me for each listing of five samples and I bolded the word that shows up in item specifics and then I underlined it any word that was in the title so I wanted to show you this to show you you know they just came out with this this is a part of their AI now from um, and my background in SEO selling it and having a partner that just loved to eat it this is eliminating duplicate content giving a uh, green light for Google to index it and start listing it. Um, none of the title, none of the descriptions are the same. They're interweaving w words that are in the, um, that one should be underlined. <laughs> Oops. There you go. They're, they're, they're mixing in item specifics and title. If you notice, the 8x10 is in item specifics. Well, the photo is in the title, and it's not. Um, it is in the, the item specific. The movie right here is not in the item specifics, but only in the, the title of the, the eBay listing. So I just wanted to show you how much they're focusing on stuffing keywords. This is what this is called back in the day when eBay just started up. They would just stuff as many keywords as they possibly can. What it's doing, it's feeding their AI search and teaching and, and, and conf, re, it's basically making us become experts of the categories we sell in. Um, the more accurate we are with the more this AI learns, and it's going to know it's not unknown because they have other ones they can reference to say, no, it's not unknown. So you're not as educated in that category. So the more accurate you can be in your item specifics and your title, um, it doesn't look like they're doing anything like it's all through all the descriptions, like five is, I mean, the last one would be movie down here, and the first one was at the top. So the it wasn't like, any, there's no pattern of showing only in the first two sentences. It's it's throughout the whole paragraph. Um, I have noticed um, a jump in my uh, organic traffic. I've uh, been implementing this only into my art cards. Uh, I was telling you about I had these little trading art cards, and they are uh, growing in traffic. No sales yet, but I think they always been seasonal so this is the time of year for me to get them indexing again um, I have noticed it's doubled the traffic in just about a week and with it a 30-day count so is that based because the holidays are getting closer and there's more people searching for that or is it just because I've in integrated this AI um, the other tests are my new listings that I'm um, selling and uh, are selling quicker. I'm feeling a heartbeat from eBay. I haven't felt that in months. I'm not ending and I'm not sell, uh, sell similar. I'm not breaking that chain with Google. I'm reformatting and, and massaging my listings to have this stuff in it. So when Google gets around and re-indexes it, it'll start appearing. I did see in Facebook my art cards being advertised in Google ads or, or e Facebook ads under eBay sponsored listings. I have not looked in the Google, um, 
Google search, but that was the first time I've seen any of my listings show up in Facebook marketing. Um, that was weird. Here I'm only working on the AI in that category, and they start showing up. So um, there's definitely something here for all of us to learn. The bold text are the item-specific words. Um, this is making us become more a, a expert of every category we sell in. The underlined text is basically the words that are in the title. And if they're both underlined, they're in the title and the item specifics. So you can see there's a lot of bold, double, you know, they're really, they're really working on getting that um, AI um, trained. And the, the more accurate you are, if, if you're using terms like various artists and they know it's, you know, it's, it's an artist's name, they don't consider you an expert in that category anymore. I mean, you can list up, and I don't think it has anything to do with volume. The better you are in your categories, the more educated you are in your categories, you can list, keep listing. I'm, I'm still doing my vertical scheduling, so every hour there's a new listing in a different category, and each one now has an AI description and it's not reading the the only thing I would recommend um, maybe in the future is the condition the condition of the product is not being read by the AI it's it's sometimes saying is you know it, it doesn't read that um, it's minimum wear it could be even better if they would start reading the description of the condition but um, sometimes I've had to change that and add in minor wear I always use my even though there's a little problem with it and it's mint considered mint I still say there's minor wear please look at the photos it prevents my returns that I, I'm covering my back um, I know it's not a hundred percent accurate but if it's if I have a choice to make it grade them, I will, and I'll still say it has minor wear. Look at it, and I'll get people asking me, "Where's the minor wear?" I go, "Well, it, I'll tell them it's it's used. I downgrade the quality, so the expectations are are uh, higher. But when they get it, their expectations are, "Wow, this is great!" You know. So, it, am I losing sales? Maybe, but I rather have um, people happy than disappointed. And um, anyway, I just I thought this was pretty interesting um, how they're doing this. They're, they're, almost every sentence has something in it. And back in the day, in the, the beginning of Google, this is keyword stuffing. And um, this is how you get your page to show up in Orange County water restoration. You would, you would just stuff your keywords in your, just your, your content. And it was... Well, it didn't read well, but in this case, AI is learning and making it better. So anyway, thank you. <coughs> Please like and subscribe. Um, I really enjoy doing this, and and it helps me reconfirm what I'm working on. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm staying the course. I'm doubling down on eBay. I'm not ending, and I'm not sell similar. I believe um, the recipe is here. We just need to be better in every category. I, I'll give you an example, one last example. of I am not familiar with the category. I'll go in and do what is an item specific. I'll start looking at all the choices and, and, and start processing what they are. So, wow, I have one of those, you know, photos from the 1800s. You know, like it would be a different choice. So... Obviously, I'm not an expert in every category I sell in, and it's it's very you know I I recognize that now, and I'm gonna slow down. I'm still gonna list quite a bit, but I'm just gonna slowly learn what I do well and um, stay in my lane. Um, fortunately, those those types of sellers that sell everything, this isn't gonna be it isn't gonna be a good fit for you. 
uh, you might be a better off cross-listing and, and shutting your listings down or cranking them back on. And, and even then they do that, you, you get an allotment of, of new listings until they start slowing you down. And I showed that in one of my videos. It says one-year promotions, you know, the results are shocking. And I talk about here's what happens when I end in sale similar. And look what happens at the end of the year. It was like, it, they control that. They don't. They don't really want people to um, do that. They would actually r rather have Google index it so they can get that free traffic, you know, instead of us paying now for the advertisement inside their store and outside their store. And they're basically putting us in charge of our outcome. Um, that's my, you know, that's my background. That's what I did with my partner. 20 years didn't have to do I just did it you know we worked on it and kept on working on it and um, the stress just to have people's leads coming in every day was just so overwhelming I'm I'm a little stressed paired where I was before when I was doing SEL so and everybody's stressed about eBay right now but I'm you know I'm working through it and like everybody else they gotta work through their the, what they you know what their hiccups and what they're good at so focus on these item specifics don't be afraid of using that google that ebay ai for descriptions um thank you sorry for another long video but um please like and subscribe and call someone if you haven't and lately that you might they might appreciate it all right thank you guys bye